When we are working in a nanomaterials or in a nanotechnology, we often encounter, we often see these terminologies. Aspect ratio. Sometimes they call it surface to volume ratio. Sometimes they refer surface area to volume ratio. All these three names are basically same. They have the same meaning, surface to volume ratio. Very important property of nanomaterials. Let me clarify it from the diagram. Let's suppose we synthesize nanomaterial by any method. Nanomaterial. And our nanomaterial was in spherical form. We just suppose. Because we know sphere is a symmetrical object, we can easily calculate its volume and its surface area. Surface to volume ratio basically means take the surface, the surface area is 4 pi r square and divide by its volume. So we know the sphere self volume. So we get basically here 3 pi r here. Very important relation surface to volume ratio is equal to 3 by r here. From this relation, you can clearly say that your material is nano r bulk or macro material because if we have large value here, this means that it is inversely proportional to the radius of the object. If we have small object, we have large surface to volume ratio. So this means that if the surface to volume ratio is greater and greater, so we can see that our sample is basically nano material. Very simple. If the surface to volume ratio is less and less, so we can say that our material is in macro, mean not in nano material or nano scale range. So this is very very important uh, property of nano material. Let make it. Let me make it more clear uh, from the uh, diagram. So here you can see here this is the surface to volume ratio. It is inversely proportional to the size. Basically the size. Of that basically radius is basically the size here if you say no this is not the size we have a diameter of the size okay so diameter is basically nothing but 2r here that is also size right now let me make it very very clear from this diagram here let's compare three uh, size here one we have one here uh, this size basically the radius is basically 30 nanometer and then another nanoparticle is basically 10 nanometer and this one is basically 3 nanometer. So you can see here that if we have bigger particles, so you, you will see that, oh, it has a large surface area, but no, only 5% of the particle on the surface because everything is inside here, inside. And we don't see, because we don't see here, we, we don't see uh, the inside because we, we, we want reactions and reaction only work on surface. So only 5% particle on the surface here. But if you decrease the size, you can see 20% of the particle on the surface here. If we further decrease here to 3 nanometer, so 50% particle on the surface here. So this is how this uh, surface to volume ratio play very, very important role here. Right? So it's clear that smaller the particle size, the greater proportion of the particle are found on the surface is explained here. And this property basically surface to volume ratio, uh, this is very important property. And the smaller nanoparticle basically uh, or other nanomaterial generally have large surface to volume ratio, uh, which can affect their physical and chemical properties such as solubility is explained here. And reactivity and also stability. These three are very, very uh, important uh, uh, implications of the surface, high surface area to volume ratio. Right? This was all about the surface to volume ratio, is explained. Very important property here, significant effect on the property of material here. And surface to volume ratio of the sample made from nanoparticles, if we have sample made from nanoparticles, they have relatively large value as compared to the same volume of the material made from bigger particle is explained here. So for example, this is the blue color here. This means same particle, same material, but one is bigger, another is smaller. So this one has a large surface to volume ratio.